everyone. Today is April 22nd, 2020. I'm going to take you through today's workout. Today's workout is four rounds per time of 20 single arm walking lunges, followed by 20 push press and 20 calories. So for our warm-up, we're just going to do a cardio routine I like to do. Uh, it's about one minute at each station. So you're just going to run in place on the first one. So once you're ready, you'll start your timer. It's just going to be running in place. All right, so that's the first one. You can do that for a minute. The next one's gonna be alternating jumping lunges. So we're just gonna get down to a lunge, jump with each rep. Okay, then the next one's gonna be broad jump. Okay, you, you just need a little bit of room with this one. If you don't have a lot of space, that's okay. And we'll talk about that also because for the workout, we're looking to lunge out and back. But really you wanna just swing your hands back and just jump as far forward as possible. And then you can just turn right around, jump back to that same spot and just do that over and over again, okay? And the next one's gonna be lateral hops. So you're just gonna go from side to side. So when you go from one foot, you're gonna just jump this way, okay, this way, and just jump back and forth with a little bit of space. We're we'll just trying to get a little bit wider uh, than I was getting, okay? So once again, that's gonna be one minute at each station, run in place, immediately into alternating jumping lunges, immediately into broad jump, and then finishing up with lateral hops for four minutes. After that, we'll get into a quick dynamic stretch routine. So first one's gonna be a Spider-Man stretch. With these stretches, we wanna hold about 30 seconds. From here, you're gonna fall into a pigeon. Okay. And I'm gonna just speed it up, but you're gonna hold for about 30 seconds at each. Drop to that knee, that same knee that's down. Reach over. 30 seconds, get that front leg up on the heel, feel the stretch in your hamstring. And then repeat that routine on the other side. So we get into that spider man stretch, hold that pigeon. Okay, now we're up to a knee with the arm up, and now we're stretching the hamstring. Okay, so we're looking for 30 seconds on that. Now we're just going to keep it to a seal pose. Cobra. And then we're just gonna lean all the way back. Then get our hand all the way through. Again, I'm speeding it up. You're gonna do about 30 seconds at each. Go the other way. And on the back, we're gonna do an iron cross. Hands on your side. Lift your foot up. Reach as far over as possible. Okay, quick dynamic stretch routine again you want to spend about 20 30 seconds at each stretch all right so for our workout today we have lunges push press uh calories and then uh, we're looking for four rounds on that so with 20 reps each so the single arm walking lunge you're going to hold the dumbbell kettlebell or whatever equipment you have in that front rack position. I used a kettlebell earlier today. So with the kettlebell, we're looking for that, that front rack, okay? Uh, you wanna get the, your, in between your uh, thumb and your pointer finger, that groove, okay? Like you're creating an L with your finger. You're just putting that right at the edge of the handle and then letting the bell rest on your shoulder, okay? There shouldn't be a lot of tension on your wrist. Right, your wrist should be rotated back and your elbows should be flared out. So in this position, you're trying to keep your vertical torso. And then we're just going to lunge out and then bring it together. Now the goal today is to try to lunge uh, and do our walking steps. So you're just going to step, bring your feet together and step. Okay, as you walk. 10 steps out, 10 steps back. What I did, we'll, we'll talk about uh, you know, some details later, but you want to switch arms um, eat with each set. So I did my first set of 20 walking lunges with my right arm, and then I switched over to my left arm for that second set, okay? For the push press today, ideally we would like to use a barbell, all right? So again, we're challenging ourselves in that front neck position with the single arm and the front squat, and now this is gonna be a little bit challenging with the push press in that front rack. So we wanna be able to use a barbell. With the push press, we get the bar on our shoulders, that front rack position, elbow should be down and in front. We're gonna dip down and thrust 
the weight all the way up. If you're doing that shallow dip, and then using your hips to get the, aggressively get the bar over your head. Your butt goes back, your knee, knees bend out, chat torso stays vertical on the descent, and then up, you're using your legs to thrust the weight up and overhead, finishing with a strong press. If you don't have a barbell today, that's fine. We can actually substitute with dumbbells. And again, we want to use, the goal is to use two dumbbells to challenge our front rack, especially after those walking lunges. So it's exactly the same thing. We're just going to dip and punch this guy with two dumbbells. If you don't have two dumbbells, use one dumbbell, but put two hands on it. And you're going to dip and thrust the weight over your head. You can also use a kettlebell if you only have a kettlebell. Again, ideally we would like to use uh, one kettlebell. Or, I'm sorry, two, two kettlebells. Get into that front rack position. Pretend I have two. You're going to dip and then extend. That bell, the grip is a little bit different. It's going to rest on your forearm. All right? So with this workout, we do, and the, uh, to finish the workout, we also have calories. Ideally, we would like to use a bike or a rower. If you have that, you're going to do 20 calories. Uh, if you don't have that, you can substitute running. For the running, we're looking for a two minute time frame, so anywhere up to a two minutes on the run or 400 meters on your run. Okay, so the 400 meters try to keep it down below two minutes. Um, so you have the 20 single arm walking lunges, the 20 push press, and the 20 calories. Now, for the single, um, for the weight, you want to choose weight that you can pretty much move through 20 reps without stopping. So lunging 20 steps without stopping, push press uh, 20 reps in a row, at least for those first two sets. And then the cardio is the cardio. Today's workout, we're looking for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want to try to sustain a consistent pace and get those four rounds done um, you know, within that time frame. okay? Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, text me, email me, it's a message, I'm here to help. Have a good workout, let me know how it goes.